Forget reading boring instructions, I'm here to walk you through Hornville step by step. There are two ways to play Hornville. The Mayor Bighorn version, which is team-based, and the Max Power version, which is where everyone fends for themselves in a head-to-head -head debate. Let's get started walking you through the Mayor Bighorn version. If you already know how to play this version and you want to know how to play the Max Power version, then click this icon to take you to the next video now. Let's have a rundown about what cards are in the box and which ones you actually need to play this version of the game. In the box there should be 12 roll cards, 26 proposed bill cards, 2 sets of 40 fact cards and 22 vote cards. For the Mayor Bighorn version of the game you can remove the max power card from the roll cards deck and you can also get rid of the vote cards because we don't need them in this game. Okie dokie! We start this game by counting the number of players. If there's an odd number of players, take an equal number of Rhino and Unicorn cards and add the Mayor Bighorn card to the mix. So if there are five of you, take two Unicorns, take two Rhinos and a Mayor Bighorn. For an even number of group, take an equal number of Rhino and Unicorn cards, shuffle them up and then remove one of them at random. That card will now be switched with the Mayor Bighorn version and placed back into the pile. This means that every card you need is ready and the total number of cards is equal to the number of players. Shuffle the roll cards and deal them out to each player face down. Everyone flips the card to see what team you'll be on. If you've got Mayor Bighorn card, congratulations, you're the boss, the big shot, the head honcho. Once you know whose team you're on, sit together with your team. For this version, ignore the numbers on the bottom of the player cards. Once people have divided into the two teams, hand out a set of fact cards. Blue fact cards go to one team, green fact cards go to the other team. Don't worry, they're the same. These fact cards are there just to give you information about Hornville and its citizens. I'd recommend familiarising yourself with some facts before you play, as this will allow you to get a jump start on building your arguments. Now, whoever's Mayor Bighorn, you get the proposed bill cards and the timer. On the top corner of the bill card is a symbol of the team that is proposing the bill. So if the bill has a rhino symbol, the rhino team are for the bill and the unicorns are against it. The letters and numbers in the bottom corner of the bill card are the reference numbers for the appropriate facts relating to the bill, so this makes it easier finding the relevant facts for your arguments. When the teams are ready, flip over the bill card and flip the timer. Each team gets 60 seconds to pull together their argument either for or against the bill. Take some time to figure out your arguments and strategy. When making a case, remember to think about who these laws will affect and how this will help or hurt Hornville citizens and how the laws will be implemented. Don't forget, you can actually use the fact cards to help you build your argument if you get stuck. Or you can make up your own facts as long as it's able to convince Mayor Bighorn. Just do what makes you happy. I'm a guide, not a cop. Now we recommend 60 seconds, but you can take as much time as you need as long as you agree to the time at the start of the game. So once everybody's ready, the first team gets 60 seconds to plead their case for the bill. If you're Mayor Bighorn, make sure you stop those trying to steal time. Once they're done, it's the opposite team's turn to plead their case against the bill for 60 seconds. Now that both parties have spoken, you have 60 seconds to gather as a team to brainstorm for the rebuttals and closing statements. The team for the bill goes first as they try to discredit the other team and convince Mayor Bighorn that their side is right for Hornville's citizens. Then it's the other team's turn for 60 seconds to close off the debate. Once Mayor Bighorn has heard both sides, they will then decide which team made the more convincing argument and award the winning team with the bill card. The first team to collect two bill cards wins, but that doesn't mean you have to stop the fun. Shuffle up the roll cards and start again. It's that easy. Now, if you want to see how to play the max power version of the game, click here and I'll see you over there. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy your new lives here in Hornville. See you around!